Thank you very much. Kwa majina naitwa Alex Matiangi. Mimi ni mfanyakazi wa hoteli. And I've been in the industry for some time. Going to the point eh uh, kitendo kitendeka hapa is what none could expect from a disciplined man like the officer working in the government. Kitu ya kwanza nasema watu wote wana biashara wafanya kazi they all depend on this work it is unfortunate that a law enforcer can use his arm instead of defending anaitumia kutoa uhai ya watu that is very unfortunate the police officer the police officers the government should make sure they believe wale wamekufa wapata haki yao number 2 hapa tukisimama hivi ah watu wameongea hapa ni wafanyakazi wa hoteli they have come together as a welfare for the hotel workers i'm surprised that the people who are in charge of the bar owners sijasikia wakiongea juu ya kitendo is it because it was an employee it was employees who died if it was a bar owner what would they have done can the bar owners operate without staff that is the major question i'm asking so i'm requesting that uh, there is safety in nakuru that is one thing you can say this is a one off incident that should not be carried we are we are peaceful and we are sure to coexist with whoever is coming in finally i could request the workers tafadhali even if mtu anataka kwenda na bill you don't know who this person is you don't know why he has come and what intention he has contact the management of the place if the management cannot handle it call the police but it is so unfortunate that the police whom we could have called for assistance and the people is the is one of them is the one who has caused all this so we really, really regret the incident we pray that those who are in the hospital a quick recovery na family wale wameoacha na wenzao tafadhali Mungu awajalie awape nguvu wakati huu na serikali naye ingie ndani nione vile tutasaidiana kwa majina kama nilivyoeleza naitwa Dennis Nyagaka from uh, one of the proprietors up uh, Las Vegas whatever happened uh, it's a very unfortunate incident uh, where this officer came here as he was taking whatever he was taking he decided to withdraw his firearm and uh, killed two of uh, two ladies from this place and two bouncers are now critically ill in the hospital uh, the incident that happened has affected our businesses badly right now for over the years the business around here has been running smoothly with a lot of clients flowing in and out of this place but since the incident happened uh, the flow of clients has uh, reduced this is because the people the clients wale tunatarajia wako kutembelea wanahofia usalama yao wakifikiria these people were supposed to take care of them as security officers that's the same people that are coming here armed with the intention we thinking that these people are the people who are going to take care of us and our security they are the same people that are bringing security to our businesses and now they are helping run our businesses down especially during this month of december when we expect to be making sales and kills so that we can be able to survive through the month of january and february we are requesting the government to please kindly not to allow this guy to be released <clears throat> not to allow this guy to get his freedom not to even issue him with a police bond or a cash bail because uh, we believe that this person is not uh, safe for to stay around uh, uh, the members of the public because of his indisciplined actions that he has been having previously and uh, it's well known and documented that this guy and his indisciplined nature this guy is going to interfere with uh, the investigations that are going on and uh, the security of the other two guys that are still alive and struggling for their lives in the hospital cannot be guaranteed because of the history that this guy already has we kindly request that this guy be detained 
and uh, not to be released on cash bail or anything until justice is served. Kama jina ndisho Donald Mtumba, mimi ni kama landlord wa tenants wenye wako na baza hapa. Uh, tuna uzuni kwa hile nyimetokea, ya meniumiza mimi, pia watu wote wenye wanafanya kazi hapa kwa sasa wengi au wata kwa kazi kwa muda fulani. Na ile ombi lenye na jaribu kuomba serikali itusaidie ni tumekuwa na shida kama hii. Kuna wakati pia askari aliyaitwa risazi aliyaitwa bunduki hapa na tukaenda tuka report akakuja akawa disarmed hapa na kufuatilia hatukuweza kusaidiwa. Na kama hiyo tukio la kwanza tungeza kusaidiwa hatungepata hili tukio la pili. Then pia huyo askari on that day hiyo issue ilifanyika tulikuwa hapa wakati wa jioni akiwa na maaskari wenzake kulikuwa na mvurutano between yeye na maaskari wenzake ndio wakahama kwa meza yake wakamwacha akiwa peke yake wakaenda kaa kwa meza nyingine kama hao maaskari pia wangeweza kutusaidia hiyo wakati kuchukua action pia hili tukio halingetoka so ombi langu ni kwa serikali na ombi langu na kwa wale wote wanaonena maneno kusi ina hii mahali na hawajakuja kujua haswa nini ilifanyika. Muje hapa kwa ground muangalie mufanye investigation yenu msieke lawama wenye biashara. Lawama ni yenu kwenu serikali iposa tunaomba ila wakati yote askari hayuko kazini ama akipewa silaha aambiwe silaha ni ile wakati ako nayo kazini kama anaenda burudani awache sila cause wengine wao wengi wakija hapa hawakubaliwi hata wafanyiwe search analeta shida na wanakuja kama wako maaskari wawili watatu wanaleta shida wanasema mimi hauwezi ni search mimi ni askari ni askari wanaweza kuingia ndio posa wanatuletea shida kazini so ombi langu aswa kubwa ni wale wenzetu wenye wameenda wapate haki yao waende wa, wa familia zao zimebaki me, wenzao wengi wale wenye wameenda wengi wako na watoto wadogo sana maisha yao sivyo itakuwaaje so tunaomba serikali iangalie kabisa au wenzetu wote wapate haki yao usikuwe na udanganyifu yoyote ya kuzuia haki kutendeka kwa matina naitwa Rosa Bere mimi ni organizer kwa Hotel Workers Welfare Association ningechukua ninge, ninge fursa hii kuomboleza wenzetu wamekufa pale hawakupenda kukufa lakini wawe, waliweza kutolewa uhai na ofisa wa polisi mwenye anafaa kuchunga sisi kama ragia. Tuna uchungu mwingi sana tukiwa eneo hili. Tukiofia usalama yetu pia sisi kama wanaoteria pale kazini saa hizi tunaogopa kufanya kazi. Hata ukitembea hivi karibu na kazini kwako unaogopa sana kwa sababu ujui unakutana na nani kwa sababu serikali ndio inavaa ituchunge na pale sisi hudumia serikali watu wengi sana. Customer wetu pale kwa hoteria ni polisi ndio wengi sana. Na sasa unashindwa pale kazini ukienda utauzia nani utapatana na nani kwa sababu uwezi chua kazi utaingia ama utatoka ukiwa hai ama utatoka kama umemalizwa na serikali. Sisi tuko hapa tunalilia serikali iweze kutusaidia haki itendeke kwa wenzetu na pia sisi tukue tuko security pale kazini tukifanya kazi kama wanaoteria tusikuwe na uhoga na tunaomba serikali iweze kutusaidia usalama na kama ingewezekana polisi wasikuwe wanaingia kwa haba wakiwa na silaha mbalimbali za kuturumu wananchi tunaomba tu usaidisi na tuwe, tuwe tukifanya kazi na usalama wetu pale kazini kwa majina naitwa Pierre Langat mimi ndio secretary general ya Hotel Workers Association, Welfare Association. Tunalaani hii kitendo yenye imefanyika hapa eh, juzi na tunasema kabisa ni aibu kwa serikali especially forces enye inafaa kutuchunga inatudhulumu. Mimi ningeongelea tu kuhusu mental health ya hao mapolisi. Ningeomba serikali kama mtu wako na shida na uh, mental health tafadhali udisam na umpe some lighter duties sababu hii kitendo eh uh, jamaa huyu uh, polisi amefanya alikuwa anafanya uh, uh, akiwa intoxicated uh, alikuwa amelewa lakini ni kama pia alikuwa na dis, uh, discipline cases so tunaomba ya kwamba serikali iweze 
eh, kuchunga eh, polisi yao na ya pili ningependa kuongezea pia tunataka kufanya kazi in a friendly way ni kumaanisha kwamba sisi kama wafanyakazi wa maoteli ama ba sisi ni watu wa amani sana tunapenda kufanya kazi yetu na bidii na tungependa hii environment enye tuko nayo iweze eh, tushughulikiwe iweze ya kuwa ikwe free from harm polisi wanapokuja wakuje in a way kama customers nimesikia wengine wakisema uh, ya kwamba hao polisi wanapokuja kwa kazi yetu wanasema mi ndio polisi wanaingia na sila yao of which mi na defer nayo nasema ya kwamba tunalaani hiyo kitendo uh, tuweze uh, serikali ichukue hiyo kitu kwa uh, uzito kabisa na uh, wa, uh, wenye wametuacha na pia wenye wako hospitali wapate justice huyo polisi mwenye alifanya kitendo hii naomba asiwachiliwe sababu akiwachiliwa atakuja ku disort hii eh, investigation enye inafanyika na pia uh, ninaomba ya kwamba uh, AG ambaye ni kome ile promise umesema jana uweze kuitimiza Mutu, watu wafanye kazi wetu wapate haki na sisi tuishi kama wakenya na ni hayo tu kwa sasa